Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Win UAE guide. So last time we'd just finished up our hard drive installation and we've got better workbench installed. Must admit I made a mistake right at the end of the video and you may have, have, have seen it already. Um, I forgot to install the latest 4.3 update. So before we continue on with part 3 which is all about um, WHD load we're going to first uh, just fix those couple of things so uh, if we just hit F12 um, go to floppy drives uh, and I'm just going to add this disk the update 40243 and then I'm just going to quickly uh, install that so it's a pretty simple process just do the update does a load of files and then it will ask you to uh, reboot the machine afterwards. Excellent, right, so with that all done, uh, one thing I am going to change which is kind of a graphical glitch. You may have noticed in the last two videos that um, the text here on the workbench doesn't look exactly clear it looks a little bit distorted um, there is a fix for that and I should have mentioned that previously if we go to display no sorry not display we go to filter and then under this extra settings bit there's a point uh, by linear uh, slider if we move that all the way to the right uh, you'll see in the background that the text changes so without it looks like that with it's uh, a little bit more uh, blurred, but it's a more authentic um, look to Workbench and the Amiga. Right, so uh, what are we going to do today? So we're going to look at um, WHD Load. So what is WHD Load? Well, it's a way of uh, playing Amiga games that have been packaged up um, so instead of having to use ADF uh, disk files and inserting them and then swapping disks all the time it runs purely from the hard drive and this can also be used on a real um, Amiga as well it doesn't have to be within WinUAE so um, just to get out of this Amiga uh, workbench I'm just going to press the middle uh, mouse button and that will just quickly get me out of the uh, Win UAE without pressing F12. Uh, and then what we're going to look at is the first website is whdload.de. Uh, um, and as the time of this recording, um, uh, 18.5 is the latest version. Uh, I recommend just downloading the one at the top, the uh, user small one. And yep, download that uh, and save it somewhere. Uh, next we're going to download uh, under requirements so under this website here I'll have it linked uh, you need to download this file skick348 it's got a couple of files in there that we're going to re require these are RTB files um, later on so you need to download that as well as you can see I've just downloaded it there and then uh, the other thing as well, we want to try it out with a game. So uh, a good website is WHD down, well, whdownload.com um, is a good uh, website. It's, a lot of the packages are quite old, um, but the ones I have played, they've all worked pretty well. There are other packs out there with more up-to-date um, WHD load versions, but have a go at this one first. Um, a good game that I'm going to be testing out and if you've ever played it on a real Amiga is Monkey Island 2. And the most annoying thing with Monkey Island 2 is the disc swapping. I think there was about eight discs with this game. There was quite a few and there was a lot of disc swapping um, on back in the day with the old Amiga. So um, not having that is going to be really good. So, yep, that's going to be my example game that I'm going to be trialing out. So that's also downloaded. So with all that downloaded, as you can see, I've got those files here. One, two, three. Uh, you'll notice as well that I've copied over some ROM files. So these will be in your um, in your uh, uh, Amiga Forever 
uh, ROMs directory, which is in your uh, public directory under under documents and then um, Amiga files. Uh, and what I've copied over is the Amiga OS uh, 130 and the Amiga OS 310 uh, for the A1200. And most importantly, you need to copy over your ROM key file as well, which is in the same folder as these two. So copy those over, put them all into uh, a folder. And then that folder for me lives under, this is our Amiga folder that we created in previous episodes. Um, we've got a HDF file. There's our better workbench hard drive file that we created in part two. And what I've done is I've created a PC folder and then those are our files. So I recommend just pausing the video, getting a similar setup so you've got a PC folder and then we'll continue. Right, so with that done, um, let's go back to our Amiga 1200 hard drive. Uh, so we've got our configuration, Amiga 1200. We've got that loaded up. So if you haven't done already, load that up, start up the Amiga. And then uh, we're going to add a couple of things. So we're going to add our PC folder. So we don't have to use hard drive files. Uh, like previously, we can actually add, add in a directory that's on our PC and that can act as an Amiga hard drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to do add directory here. Uh, device name, we're going to call this PC0. Uh, it's not going to be bootable. Volume name, I'm just going to keep it simple, PC. And then I want to select a directory. So under my downloads, Amiga, HDF, PC. I just need to select that. Select folder. There we go. It should look something like that. So if I click on OK, that's been added. And then I just need to start up my Amiga. Excellent. Right. OK. So as you see, we've got our system directory still with Workbench and everything on there. And now we've got a PC directory. And if I open that up, it looks like, hang on, there's nothing in there. It looks really weird. Um, it's because there's no info files. So Amiga uses info files to sort of like um, give uh, things icons and everything. So what you need to do is you need to go to uh, right click Windows, Show, and then All Files. And then suddenly you'll, you'll see that these files are here. So there we go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to set up WHD load. So if I just double click on that, it's an LHA file. So that's uh, a zipped up file. So I need to add at the beginning of this um, LHA space X space. So the command looks like that. Press enter. And you'll see now that that's extracting a load of files. We'll wait that for that to finish. Excellent, that's finished. Okay, so we can close the output there. And then uh, if we do a window and then update, there we go, we've got our WHD load folder. So let's double click on that. And self-explanatory, we've got an install. So double click on install. Uh, intermediate user, proceed with install. Uh, we're going to do it for real. Yeah, proceed. And then we want it to go into the C folder. Uh, C uh, standing for commands here. So proceed. That was pretty quick. Uh, and then uh, we'll just proceed. Yeah, we'll go to help. It will copy over a load of help files in all various different languages. Installation is now complete. Please read the documentation carefully on how to use it. Okay, but we'll go be going through how to set it up, so don't worry. So click proceed. Okay, so uh, next thing we need to do is we need to go to system and we need to then uh, go into our devs folder. And in here, we need to make a new folder. So right click, window, new directory, and we need to call this kickstarts. Okay, there we go. We need to copy over some ROM files. Uh, 
reason why we're doing this is uh, that not all the HD load games uh, run on a Amiga 1200. Some of them run on Amiga 500, and that uses a different ROM. So that's the reason why WHD load uses different ROMs. It's uh, really good for compatibility. So um, what we need to do is we need to extract our SKIC uh, ROMs that we had. So we're not going to do it on the PC. Don't do it on the PC. We're going to do it in the Amiga. So uh, let's go back to our PC directory again. Let's find those soft kick files. There we go, soft kick. And as before, I just need to add LHA space X space. And then extracts all those files. That's done. Excellent. And then if we look back on this page here on our PC, um, you'll see the naming convention. So uh, we need our 1.3 kick ROM to be in the devs folder, kick starts, our new folder that we've created. And we need it to be called this file. So we will need to do some renaming. So what we can do is let's go back to our Amiga. Let's just move this slightly because this will really help us out. So um, let's move over first uh, the RTB files, I think. We'll move over actually these files here first, and then we'll get to these ones later on. Okay, so with that all extracted, what we should find is uh, our Kickstart folder um, in our PC drive. And then if we just do window show all, got loads of files here. We are after the one that's ending 34005. So let's find that. That one there, kickstart 34005 A500 RTB. Excellent. And I need to drag that into the kickstart folder that's under devs. So I move that there. Okay, that one's done. And then I need the uh, a 1200 one so if we move along a little bit further there we go at the end kick starts yeah a 1200 one and then we drag that into the kick start one there too so so far we should have two files in there there we go our two files excellent okay so next thing I'm just gonna move that up there we've got the actual ROM files so we've got the uh, ROM key. So let's find that first. ROM key. Got to copy that over, and then uh, we need the actual ROM file. Now we will need to rename these because at the moment this has got the wrong name. So I've copied that across, and then we're just going to do a rename, and it needs to be called. This is the. Amiga 1.3 version, so this needs to be called kick 34005.a500, saved, and then we need the other one, drag that in, rename, and then we call that kick for zero zero six eight dot a twelve hundred whd load is now installed but let's just do some configuration just to make things a little bit more compatible with games so what we're going to do is we're going to go into system uh, we're going to show all files uh, we're going to go into the s drive show all files again and uh, we are going to be looking for a file called hd hd load um not startup the preferences file so whd load preferences so double click on that go all the way to the front type in ed space and that will bring up the editor 
and these are all the different configurations for uh, WHD load so don't worry a lot of this will look confusing to begin with but uh, we're just going to change a couple of things so on uh, this line here where it says chip no cache uh, there's a little um, se uh, se semicolon uh, before it that's commenting out the line. We're going to remove that because we do want to enable that. Um, and then another thing that I often change is uh, the uh, no auto vec. We enable that as well. And also the quit key as well. So in order to quit the games, uh, each game normally defines a key to press, but I like to have it consistent throughout all my games. So if we remove the comment from there, and then uh, you'll see that there's a raw key file. Now, if you Google Amiga raw key files, uh, you'll find a whole list of um, what each key on the Amiga represents. I know um, anyway at the moment that uh, $59 is the F10 key, uh, which is a good key for me to press whenever I want to quit an Amiga game. So with that done, uh, let's right click, save. Okay, that's our configuration done there. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test out a game. So uh, remember, let's go to our PC directory. Uh, let's go to um, Monkey Island, double click on that. Uh, this is now a zip file, so I need to do unzip space Monkey Island. And then uh, once we get to the end, it has monkeyisland2.info. You'll probably find that it hangs uh, here for quite a while. Um, I find that it's okay just to close it. Um, and then if we then do an update, have a look around, and there we go, we've got our Monkey Island 2 folder. So uh, let's double click on that, and you'll see that we've got a nice icon for Monkey Island 2. And then if I double click on that, that should then start the game. So let's give it a go. Get a nice little splash message, just saying press F10 to quit. and then the game should be loading. Okay, press enter. And then we just put in some random numbers. There we go. So Monkey Island 2, I want it all. Or do I want the elites? No, I want it all. And there we go we've got the game. So um, to then quit out of the game, we just press F10 and there we go, we're back out. Excellent, all done. So there we go, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully uh, you've got a nice setup with H WHD load and you can download loads and loads of games um, and put them onto the PC drive. What we're going to be doing next uh, in the next video is, at the moment, this is all looking a little bit messy. We're going to end up with loads of different folders everywhere, and um, we need to organize things a little bit better. So in the next video, we'll have a bit of a tidy up and uh, talk about how to organize things. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.